Welcome back, everybody, to Rimworld. I actually can't believe how how much more effective the base has gotten just by hiring one extra person. I say hiring, just by rescuing one extra person. I mean, it's essentially a 33% bonus to our workload, right? Or, or another 50% bonus to our workload, I guess. Um, but right now, with the jobs made much more effective, we can build things a lot quicker. We actually have the, 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 the builder slash uh, cook here being able to build and cook things. We have, you know, a dedicated prison management, which was taken up a lot of the time as well. I feel like we're really on an upward trend for this campaign so all that sort of stuttering and sort of slowing down during these first few episodes has basically been eliminated here now i was doing a little bit of background management but i thought i would actually leave this in just because there seems to be a bit of confusion with some of the things that i have left out and op opted to leave out videos and stuff that i've left in so first things first people are saying why are you moving the prison from this one to this wall here i was kind of hoping that the, the, the outline would give it away but what i'm actually going to do is specifically use the walls we've got built up already because obviously we have to be somewhat cautious about what components we're using here this area that i've got highlighted now is actually going to act as the prison. That way we've got a door basically parallel. We could even move that down if we really want to be super efficient about things. But we've got a door basically parallel to the main base. And all of this stuff back here, I'm just going to dig up and remove it. Because that way we've got a, a sort of nice layer between them. They might even stop aggroing, you know, the, the prison walls by that stage. Grenades are also a lot weaker now after I've nerfed them with running gun too. So we don't need to necessarily worry so much about that. Obviously mortars are still a big concern, but there's not a huge amount we can do about that. But essentially the prison is a lot safer because we've moved it away from the walls and we've moved it up into this area, which is of course very close to the map edge rather than this, which is um, essentially smack bang in the middle of things. My god. Wow. There are so many zombies. There's 616 right now, and of course, that's only going to get worse and worse and worse. Now, a lot of you point out, and I did mention this myself, uh, it was it was almost kind of a meta play here. But by leaving these zombies in here, by by having them trapped, it's preventing zombies spawn out there out in the world. But maybe we want to get rid of these guys so that it, pro it provides... Honestly, the zombies are doing us kind of a favor right now by providing a lovely natural barrier around the base because, you know, we got a very lucky spawn this time. We were able to grab ourselves quite a large base. So we don't need to worry about going out into the world too much. What we do need to worry about is traders and getting things like that, especially like these advanced components, obviously hauling that power armor, things like that as well. So I'm thinking maybe we want to disperse this, you know, chuck a couple of molotovs over the walls, maybe burn it down a little bit. And then have the zombies go out into the world, obviously naturally respawn somewhere out in the world instead. Might be a better idea, because it would also give us a nice defense against raids, sieges, that type of thing as well. Um, plus it would let us reclaim all of this stuff, and I believe all this is like steel walls, isn't it? Yeah, we've got steel walls, and we've got metal tiles there. There's probably like 500 steel tied up in just this room. And more importantly, they've got the ground penetrating scanner, which is advanced components. So we're going to have to clear this out eventually anyway. So, I mean, I mean, at some stage, these zombies are going to be redistributed across the world. So one thing I wanted to do as well and leave this in is because people are getting somewhat confused about this. A lot of people have been suggesting getting the simple sidearms mod. With combat extended, we don't necessarily need it. So what we can do with this, and I actually might not play nice with Combat Extended at all now that I think about it. What we can do is I've started setting up new loadouts here, and this is when I thought I'd better leave this in. So you can actually make specific loadouts for specific occasions. So for example, I've got a construction loadout here where Rick will have, or, or anybody if we find any extra wrenches, but Rick will have three meals, two medicine in case we need to do like emergency repairs on people. Um, what's the word for it? Doctor. That's it. R emergency, emergency doctoring. And then we've also got a wrench as well, that's, which actually increases building speed. But for other people, we're going to have to set a very specific loadout. So what I wanted to do is sort the actual gear we wanted because as you guys point out running around in power armor all day is really slowing down our workload here and it's making things just super inefficient. We only really need it in the event of raids which is, which is exactly why I got the gear and go mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a stockpile with um, no rotten or fresh thank you with the weapons that are practical and useful so I'm thinking like the charge weaponry assault rifles even bolt action rifles to some extent. Things like muskets obviously not very useful at all. Things like small combat knives maybe okay as a side Arm, but obviously not that useful otherwise and obviously like flintlock pistols and, and stuff like that are kind of crappy but then with the armor as well that's the same thing we want to get the non-tainted power armor in here too so that if we are raided we can quickly run in here grab what we need and piss off again right so that's the plan now it turns out we don't really need gear up and go i could just manually uh i could just manually change their loadout to like combat um, at which point they would go in and, and grab this stuff immediately so i guess i guess i could probably remove gear up and go right so the time being then i'll, I'll show this off as well because like i said i haven't done it in any other video before and i think it's, it's throwing a little bit of confusion out there um so rick is set to construction right now so we want to make sure that we've got in this stockpile then weapons that, that are kind of specific. Now, right now, we are going to have to pick and choose. Eventually, when we get a reloading bench, which is what I want to work on today, when we can build more ammo, we won't have to worry about things too much. So we want to say uh, probably no melee weapons. Probably no... Uh, unless we sp pick sort of specific range weapons for them to use. So, or specific melee weapons, like this Jade Axe, Steel Axe, and, and say a Spear, for example. Might be good as sidearms, but, I mean, you know, we, we've been fighting mostly tribal and zombies this time, so... And plus, the guns are so lethal in combat extended, we probably won't ever get into melee combat. Um, 
Right then, okay, so let's think about this. We want to set in this stockpile. Uh, we'll just say just ranged weapons for the timing. We'll actually pick and choose what we want. So, grenades, uh, maybe not bad, but I would also need to alter it in the loadout, don't forget. So, we've got right now, we've got things like... I actually don't know these weapons at a glance. This is a problem, so we're going to have to keep going back and forth here. So, charge, any charge weapons, I mean, we could say. Obviously, we don't have half of these, but because I don't know... You know, what's that? Is that the charge shotgun? Is that the charge SMG? I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. I'm just going to say, move them all over there. Then we've also got assault weaponry as well. So, we want to move the assault rifle over... Um, and we've definitely got, what is this one? I, feel, I, I, I don't know guns, okay? Heavy SMG, do we have any of those? I don't believe so. Um, we've got SMG, we've got LMG. And then the other thing to do is also organize ammo as well, so we can much more clearly see at a glance what we've got to work with here. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I'm still doing a little bit of the stockpile management there. You can sort of see things coming together. It took a little bit more effort than I thought because I botched some of these other stockpiles. So these are now all of our non-tainted power armor. These ones here are all of our ammo types. They haven't started moving the weapons over yet because I guess they've just been too busy moving the other stuff. You can see they are quite capable of doing that. But we've not only had a toxic fallout... Simultaneously, we've got a group of mechanoids dropping right in my damn kitchen. Okay, fine. Um, damn it. And this is after I've just gone ahead and uh, gotten to unequip all that stuff. So this is a great time to obviously test out this system. We might die horribly. I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like I feel like this isn't the best scenario. Um, right, so what we want to do this. We want to make a new loadout. Oops, not like three or four new loadouts. Thank you. Let's go ahead and delete these. In fact, it would be much, much easier to select something like basic. Copy this loadout and we'll change this into combat mode. Yeah, okay. So we also want to go for... Um, where is apparel? Is this including apparel? Or do we need to go everything? Whatever. We want to go power armor. That's the important thing. Power armor, helmet, power armor. Oh, good lord. Wow. Um... So get those equipped, I assume. is I assume that will just naturally equip. They're not going to just carry that around, are they? I hope not. Um, you can see the mass and the bulk is obviously absurd. Work speed factor now is down to 75%. 25% slower wearing this armor, which is why I wanted to get it on equipped. Because they've, they've made it very powerful, but there are a lot of drawbacks with this as well. Because of this whole new mass and bulk system. We also want to go for... Um, Weapons. Now, I was kind of hoping we'd be able to arrange the weapons a lot quicker than we have so I can see what we've got to work with here and what ammo is sort of viable. So, we've got charged shotgun. It's got ion charges. Hang on a minute. Um, that would make good for anti mechanoid weaponry. Okay, then. So, what we'll do then is we'll copy that bill and we'll go ahead and. This uh, this actually could be fine. I, I, I sort of overestimated what we had access to here. So, power armor plus weaponry built specifically for destroying robots. Feel like we might be okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to select that loadout. What was it? Combat mode. Um, we want to add onto this for anyone. Probably Rix is our best shot. We want to use that uh, charged shotgun. And then we also want to use the ammo for it. So we've got ion slugs. We want to get him picking up some of those as well. Um, honestly, that's probably enough. So we'll set. We'll, we'll actually rename that to combat no mode in brackets mechanoid or something like that. Now obviously we will have to adjust this. So I'm also going to call it um, charge charge shotgun mechanoid if that makes sense because otherwise spell it right because otherwise um you know if we set someone else to pick this up in a, in a scenario we're gonna get, it's gonna be too confusing i might as well name it proper so we'll go for that and then we'll go rick you my friend are now in combat mode charge shotgun mechanoid mode all right so hopefully if we go and do that uh so we won't immediately it's a shame there's not a job that's like swap gear that you could always you know set up manually here um in fact one of these might be you know might be deliver might be haul it might be anything along those lines what we can do though is we can obviously force him to wear that now without much of a worry so that still means we need to get everyone else equipped do we have any other weapons that are capable of taking out mechanoids i mean you'd assume a taser might work um i, I mean I'm, I'm gonna assume they work on some sort of electronics huh i'm not gonna risk it might stun them though Ooh, yeah okay and just stunning like a centipede or whatever. I mean, if we get a centipede dropping through the roof here with a doomsday rocket launcher or something, just a simple shot of a taser might be enough to actually save our goddamn base. Do you have any, like, ion grenades? We've only got regular grenades. Now, hopefully you can understand why I'm not going to be chucking those around my dining room. Rick is already good. Lynn, we need to get you back here as soon as possible. She's kind of in a bad place right now. We need to put another door sort of up here, don't we? Because right now, the only way she can go to get to the gear is through the area where the mechanoids are landing. So that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Right, so um, what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and we'll set up another one. So let's go ahead and assign. We could set it to nothing. We can just force wear our stuff, but it's not super practical, is it? Manage loadouts. Let's go ahead and select combat mode. Let's copy this one. Let's take away the charge shotgun and everything there. Um, we'll just call this combat mode for the time being until we've worked out what gun we want to give her. Look, we've got an absolute load of rifle ammo. Um, I did want to try and use the assault rifle, but unfortunately that's not going to work. Uh, what, have we got any... What, what's a rifle then? 
bolt action rifle. I feel like that's not the most practical thing to be using right now. So we've already got the charge shotgun. I gave Lin the charge SMG because we've got 25 concentrated charge. If we use burst fire or single fire, that might get us through this whole fight. Um, the other thing as well, then, what am I, I going to give to this other person? We've got Soviet cartridges there. We do have a weapon that uses those. Yes, yeah, so we've got this service rifle with... Uh, 40 Soviet cartridge. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't really think we have much of a choice here. It's using machine gun ammo, which I don't believe we have any of either. Oh, we do. 32. It's also hollow point, so it's good against unarmored enemies. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick with this uh, this service rifle for the time being. So again, just doing the same thing here and, and sort of getting that copied over. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so that we can more easily... Oh, that's going to get confusing. Um, so you are on the charge shotgun. You're on the charge SMG. Just because we are so limited in ammo, obviously when we craft our own guns and have most of the same ammo type, we can just set them to combat mode. We could have one for hollow point, one for mechanoids, one for something else, and just swap the gun out and swap the armor out, obviously. Uh, but in this scenario where we are in to pick and choose guns based on what ammo we've got left, it's a little more inconvenient. So we want to take this one, let's copy this loadout, we'll call this one, um, was it like a, like a, whatever this thing is called? Service rifle, got it, service rifle. So everybody is basically ready to go at this stage. We've just got to hope they can get geared up before these mechanoids uh, screw us over. Is it only going to be one mechanoid? Because that might not be too bad. Please don't be a scyther. Otherwise, Paul Lin is going to get sliced to bits. Um, okay, we could be good here. Right, you go and get yourself... Should we get Lin to go and get a gun first? Because otherwise, this scyther or whatever the hell is in here... Is there only one drop pod as well? You know what? This isn't too bad then in hindsight. This isn't too bad. I thought it would be... It said a group of mechanoids. Generally, that, that implies more than one. But we should be okay. Um... Rick, I'm changing my mind here. I'm going to say go and get that shotgun first because it's already loaded. Ah, oh, fuck, it is a scyther. Um, yeah, okay. In that case, we're not going to have time to armor up. It does take a long time to put on power armor as well, as you can see. Um, oh, Lord. Okay, this could be a concern. Lin, 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 Lin. Lin is going to get shredded here. I'm sorry to say it. Lin is about to be... Yep, she's going to die. Um, Rick, please don't shoot Lin. Please don't shoot... Oh, he's coming over. Nice. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, so while we're working on that then, let's make sure that Bullock has a weapon. How are you doing? Bleeding out in eight hours. She's savable. She's savable. It's not a problem. What have we got that's got any sort of useful ammo? Armor piercing. Ah, oh, hello. In the light SMG. Go grab this one then. Um, you move to this side of the room. Let's give it a go. Okay, um, let's set this to burst fire. And the reason I'm setting them on... Uh, you know what? I still think this is a bit dangerous because we are... Lin is sort of right in the firing line there. How's it doing? 52%. Okay, we might be all right. Now, this is where we want to move back. Move back, move back. Follow her. And just keep your distance. Look at that. Now, it did adapt there. You see that sort of Star Trek Borg style? It did adapt to those ion, ion bullets eventually, which I guess means there's only a limit to the amount of times you can stun it. Probably like two to three times from there, just judging by that. Okay, not too bad. I'm glad that gave me an opportunity to set all the loadouts up there. That was sort of like, uh, sort of like a needs to pick out must there, huh? Right, Rick, go ahead and drop that on the floor, my man. Uh, let's go ahead and set them back to non-combat mode for the time being. So go back basic, basic. Oh, Rick's supposed to be on construction. You're on basic too. That way they're not going to be so, you know, sort of stuck down with power armor. Can we just stabilize it right now? Who's our best doctor? So they're all carrying medicine in Renter as well. That's something we have changed. At least they should be. They are. That's good. Um, that's something we changed the other day with the, um, with the, with the loadouts there. So who's our best doctor? 4.47 or 1. Point, oh god, you are in a bad way. Stabilized lens. So what stabilizing does? It temporarily stops the bleeding, but that will carry on if left unattended. You do have to give them a proper full treatment there. So we're going to make sure she's stabilized. It will stop her dying immediately, but we do need to immediately get her to a bed and start treating her as well. So I'm actually going to turn Lynn's bed into a medical bed for the time being, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and save her in a second. Stabilizing also takes less time, but as you can see here, it's temporary. So you can it, it's sort of donated by this symbol here that... Uh, de donated? Did I just say? Denoted by that symbol here that it actually doesn't really help you out in the long term. Right, let's get her to bed. Let's make sure she's patched up. But look, you've got more medicine in your inventory, so let's get her here. Now, we've got toxic fallout, which is horrible because we've got this big old harvest that I need to go and get. So we'll, we'll um, probably just crank up the harvest job up to maximum for the time being. What I should do, because I never really use, I mean, level 4 jobs, we should set it so that in emergencies like this, things like growing or things like construction, say we've got a hole in the wall, we can crank up to number 1, then they can rush out. I should really start adopting that as just my playstyle in Rim Mode going forward forever. Right, so you're going to now drop that medicine on the floor so that Rick can use it to... Um, What's he doing? Not assigned to doctoring. Ah, right. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I like that you can stabilize them without assigning them to doctoring. That's very, very nice. Okay, go ahead and tend to her. Bullock, you go and... So she should go and grab more medicine now. Yeah, look at that. I really like this system, actually. Now that we've ironed out sort of some of the kinks with it, it works pretty goddamn well. Hopefully, she's going to be okay here, because it would really suck. Nothing lethal. She didn't lose anything. She's stunned on smoke, which I think reduces pain. Yeah, that actually was uh, quite a nice little... Uh, Quite a nice little convenience there. I guess if she wasn't stoned on smoke leaf, chances are she wouldn't have died immediately. But hey, or wouldn't have been caught by that cipher. 
All right, not too bad. So now we know what bullets we've got, what guns we've got. I really need to start working on that ammo loading venture. So I think we'll start putting down... Let's go for production here. Oh, first things first, we'll get this dealt with. But uh, simple research bench. Right, so what do we need for that? Have we got anything we can actually build it out of? Is probably going to be the bigger question. Um, I mean, wooden... We do have the wood. We don't have the steel, really? Oh, that could be a problem. Um... We could build a smelter, but again, that costs 170 steel, and we didn't have that to just to be able to get back some of the stone slag chunk, uh, of which we have quite a lot, to be honest with you. I imagine that's all the various drop pods we've had sort of uh, landing around. We might have to go and dig up the tiles. Now, this building, despite the fact that it's sort of outside our main perimeter here, is, is still one that we have access to. So there's only one door into it, so the zombies actually can't affect that one. Metal tiles up there means we could try and... Oh, I didn't know you could move the camera with WSD. I'm learning something new today. Um... We could go and tidy this up. We could go and dig all this out, and that might let us build a research bench. We could, and this is something that I really should be doing here. We should replace all of the floors with something uniform. Some sort of tile, something along those lines. Or concrete over the whole fucking thing. That way we get some wood back, we get some tiles back for, for building blocks, whatever. I don't like the whole base being, or most of the base being made out of wood. I feel like that's a really, really dangerous thing to have, have, have sort of uh, still floating around in this playthrough. So what I've done is I've dropped down all of these jobs that were not, I would say, completely urgent. So things like firefighting is always going to be top tier. Th things like, you know, being a patient maybe could be situational. You know, like Lynn, for example, only has a couple of scratches right now. But if you had a full-blown infection, I'm just going to keep that one there because I want to try and save the people we've got, you know. Doctor, same story. Surgeon, I guess, could be not down to there. Bed rest, again, sort of same applies to the patient there. But everything else I've knocked down a tier so that we can, in, in situations like this toxic fallout, where we want to quickly grab as much food as possible because we're running fairly low on food, I think we'll admit when we're trying to feed, what is that, like uh, eight people now? Three, three, four, five, yeah, we're feeding, oh no, no, there's bullock, okay, so we're feeding seven people, not ideal. So what I'm going to do is just quickly crank this one up to the maximum so that if they aren't doing anything particularly, oh, Rick's having a bath. Well, that's good to know that in the event that we've just had one of your people sliced to bits by a death robot and we've got toxic fallout outside and everyone's about to starve to death, do you still have time to take a friggin' bath? Rick, for the love of God, man, is he getting back in the bath? Okay, you know what? I mean, it's, it's scheduled set to work. Why is he, why is he having a bath on his work schedule? Why is he having a bath on his work? This is not good. Dubs bad hygiene. What, what are we looking at here, my man? Um, privacy. I mean, I, it is a need, yeah. But it's not the most urgent of need, is it? I'm not sure about that one, Chief. I also did edit these at one point. I guess it's where I've uh, obviously reinstalled this on a new PC. Oh, shit. Have all my settings reset? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that could be a problem, huh? So one thing I actually set up with with uh, Dubs Bad Hygiene before we start the playthrough is that they would have the, a greater need for thirst because it is a zombie apocalypse style survival. You, it is a survival scenario, so thirst needs to be more important. But I decided things like hygiene should be less important because you're in a zombie apocalypse. Who cares if you don't have time for a bath? It's a life and death scenario. Which probably explains why Rick is spending most of his time when he should be working. I mean, it's it's 10 o'clock in the morning and he's... I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a bath at 10 o'clock in the morning. There is, however, when you've got about 600 zombies in the room over. I'm just, I'm just, anyway, let's just, just, I wish they would save that for recreation, that's all, but I don't think there's any way I can, I can personally tweet that right now. On the subject of that, I, I kind of want to get into the room while modding a little bit more. I didn't realize quite the extent of what you could do with some of it, um, and I do have some experience, I, I'll assume it's C Sharp or C++, I actually have no idea, um, but I do have some experience with that. I have taken a look at the sort of XML modding, that's obviously very straightforward, you just need something like Notepad for that type of thing, um, but... I kind of want to try my hand at it, so we might try some some Twitch streams, sort of seeing what we can throw together. I'll take some ideas from the community, similar to what we've done with CK2. Take some ideas from the community and obviously throw those together. Right now, I'm still sort of up to my eyeballs in CK2 mods. I'm genuinely working on about three or four mods at the same time right now. So that will come after the end of the the current CK2 series and whatnot. But I would love to I'd love to take a look at this because I've got some uh, some ideas for what I think would be kind of a fun scenario. It's nothing sacred. It's, it's absolutely nothing sacred in this campaign. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but your many pets, the only friends you have in this entire world, have gone mad and are trying to kill you. Um, right, so the majority of them are out this side, so I've forbidden the door, because obviously that kind of makes a lot of sense. Um, it's only two of them that I think right now are even awake, right? Um, where's, where's the other one? There was another one somewhere. He's gone. I don't know where he is. He's probably sneaking up on us somewhere. But now we've got to deal with this fella. Um, I'd rather not kill him because, again, we don't really have many friends in this world. So if we can avoid killing our... Oh, my God, they do a lot of damage. Um, torso, bruised, muffalo head. Unsurprising. Right, just kick the shit out of him. Honestly, we might have to... Bullet. <laughs> we might have to go and grab that club or something, which means I've got to change our entire loadout. No, actually, just fight. Just fight and kill. Rick, Rick, we need your help. He's got a wrench. Rick, wrench this muffalo. Come and kill your pet. Oh, my God, there. Oh, my God, no. Please. Oh, have mercy. Have mercy. What do you mean? No way are we going to get destroyed by a mad muffalo. 
Um, okay, I guess we'll hold the door just in case. Oh shit, the others. Oh my god, the others are on their way. The others are on their way. Why did I not pick up a gun? If Rick, if Rick goes down, we lose. Oh, no, no, no. If Rick goes down, we lose. If Rick, if Rick goes down, we lose. Okay, come back. Come and get a gun. Come and get a gun. I don't care whether they're my pets or my friends. They've got to die. They've got to die right now. Get get in there. We've got to save our people. Let the door shut. Shut shut the door. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, this has gotten very spicy very quickly. So we're going to change Rick over to SMG. Uh, where is the SMG? S S M S M G. There it is. Okay. Get that SMG. Let's kill us some muffalo. For the love of God. How has this gotten to this stage? Right, are we good? Oh my god, the others are fucking coming now. How long is it going to take him to bash down that door? Seconds. Seconds it's going to take him. No, 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 no. We need this on single fire. Oh my god, we've barely got any bullets in this fucking gun. Um, okay. I think we need to switch. What else we got then? Tasers. We could taser them. Would that work? I mean, I feel like it would just knock them down and then they'd get back up and try and kill us again. Alright, we need like, uh, we need hollow points. That'll do. SMG. We'll have to swap over to that one briefly. That's interesting, actually. We, as long as they remain drafted, they won't drop the weapon again, which is obviously... It, it's kind of useful. It's not super practical. Oh my god, they're actually bashing down all the fucking doors. Oh god. And how, who's going to bleed out soon? Lynn is bleeding out in nine hours. She has not had a good day. Scyther drops in while she's trying to eat a meal. We've got Muffalo's going completely nuts and wrecking the place. Um, we need to just try and... Oper Operation Rescue Lynn. If we have to kill all of them, we have to kill all of them. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. They've got to die. Put him down. Nice, okay, we've got one more. We've only got 15 bullets. Are these ones okay, though? They're, so we've got, like, five, four surviving muffalo here. If they die, they die. I'm not going to try and rescue them or anything like that. They, they've, they've bought this on themselves. All right, there we go. Nice work. Are we good? And these guys are just consuming grass. Okay, rescue Len. For the love of God, rescue Len. Bullock is just bruised and, and sort of injured, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Rick, how are you doing? Rick is also just, just bruised and cracked. Okay, nothing to worry about. How is Lynn dying? Oh, my God, it destroyed her leg. How is this the most lethal injury we've taken the entire game when we've had raiders and mortars and sieges and zombies and Lynn's fucking dead? She's dead. What? How did she die that fast? How did she die that fast? Oh my god, she's stoned on smoke leaf. It's minus 25% consciousness. Oh my god. She died because she was stoned. Her consciousness dropped to 0% because she was stoned. I've never been so I've never been so annoyed. I've never been so annoyed in my life. Hey, guess what? No drugs. No drugs. You can't be trusted anymore. No drugs. Fucking muffalos eat my meals. He's eating my meals. We haven't got enough of that. Stop. Oh my lord. Okay, right, that's it. These muffalos were not worth it. I was thinking, oh, we'll tame them. We'll breed them. We'll have a nice little muffalo ranch going on. Everyone's be fine. We've got one person dead. My base is trash. We've got toxic fallout coming in the front door, and now they're eating my meals. How has this happened from a group of Take your gun. Take your gun, your man. We are we are going hunting. We are going hunting. Kill them all. Uh, actually, actually, genuinely do kill them all though. Let's go drafted hunt. Bring it, bring it, you cowards. You think you can eat my meals? You are the meal now. This is what you get. This is what you get. You're paying the price. That should be the end of that. Okay, so let's build this front door again so that we're not immediately dying of of toxic fallout and whatnot. I think it only affects on roofed areas, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna just gonna do this because of course we do need a front door. Um, let's get all of this shit hauled as well because this stuff is is gonna start to degrade incredibly quickly. But like, how are you doing? Are you capable of working? Um, no, not really. I've got to be very careful how we do this, otherwise she's gonna end up dying from just complete lack of consciousness again. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Rick is now on a mental break. All of our potatoes dying. We've got enough food to last as well, though. So I'm not not too concerned. We've got a lot of rice there. We could even resort to using nutrient dispenser ourselves if things get that desperate. Um, not refrigerated spoils in two days. You know that's fine. Bullock actually can't move, so it's not like I can even send her out to do things. Like we've got two clients who are completely down for the count. Lynn instantly went rotten, um, which is also true of one of the muffalos as well. So I can only assume it's that that's if they die outside um, or are affected by toxic fallout something like that that you then can't eat them because it's kind of like tainted meat. There there is a very cool feature I'd like to try, which is when we walk close to this wall, what happens to the zombies. I think we've seen it in a couple of videos, but I never pointed out how cool it is before. So when these guys are done off of that, I need to remember to uh, quickly show you guys that one. No. No. We can't. We can't win. This is impossible. Insectos in the room. Genetically altered organisms. Designed to fight mechanical invasions. Black herbs are the best of the best. Designed to be blah, 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 blah. Great. So now we've got to fight gigantic killer insects who luckily are being attacked by the zombies. Okay, we should be okay then. As long as the zombies can take them down, we might not have too much to worry about. Now, the toxic fallout is probably going to destroy that power armor, isn't it, if we're not careful. Um, where, where was it they died? It was somewhere somewhere south of here. There it is. Um, how are we looking? Power armor helmet deteriorating because of our doors. Wait, what happened to the actual armor itself? Did we already haul that stuff over? 
I guess so. We do have quite a lot of it, though, don't we? Um, we've got one, two, three. We've got four power armor, uh, plus another one that's tainted that Rick could wear, because obviously he's, uh, he doesn't, doesn't really care about tainted gear because of his bloodlust. So we've got enough to last as well. Anyway, I would love to go and grab those helmets as well, though. Oh, no. White's going to die because nobody can feed him. Rick's on a mental breakdown. Bullet can't walk. Um... Yeah, I think we're gonna lose Colin here. There's nothing. There's nothing I can do to stop this. Malnutrition Extreme is currently at 81%. There's a chance Rick might sort of wake up and, and chill out before this happens, but I very much doubt we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be saving this guy. Is he any good? He's got okay intellectual, okay mining, both of which aren't super useful. Deep Sleeper is also quite bad as well. Um, actually, no, that's a good one, isn't it? It's, what's the other one? It's a Long Sleeper that's bad. It makes him obviously need more sleep. Um, yeah, okay. I feel like you're probably not long for this world, my friend. Bullet can walk. Bullet can walk. It's okay. It's okay. Prioritize, prioritize feeding white. Stop everything you're doing. Feed white right now. How, how's he looking? Nutrition extreme. We're up to 87%. Come on, please, 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 please. Just a little bit of pemmican. Mmm, tasty, tasty pemmican. Right next to these rotten muffalos. We seem to be... I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Food bar is at the maximum. We just got to wait for that malnutrition to piss off now. What about anyone else? What about, like, you? Are you capable of walking? It's only because White can't walk, because his left leg's been destroyed in the end malnutrition, that he wasn't able to get this stuff in the first place. Um, why have we got the hopper sort of filled with four potatoes? That's not going to help anyone. Um, guess we'll stop filling it with potatoes and fill it with rice instead, even though that might be less efficient in hindsight, but hey, you know what? Let's move that over. Um, let's prioritize filling this. Not something to... Oh, you need to be on cooking to fill a hopper. What? Okay. Um, that's something. Fine. Um, we'll prioritize hauling it then, because I've set it to a slightly higher priority. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't just let us do that anyway, huh? Contaminated water. Oh, wow. So our water, our water towers are also contaminated then, huh? Um, untreated, contaminated. So the water source is polluted, so there's a risk it would contaminate. So it's not guaranteed, because of the toxic fallout, there's a chance that our water that we're drinking and bathing could also contain toxic fallout, which would, um, certainly not be good. Wow, this is, um, this is difficult. This is way more difficult than I took into account, to be honest with you. But anyway, we're also not playing on a particularly high difficulty right now, because you guys asked me to scale it back, so we're constantly being destroyed. We're on, we're on, what, like, middle? Yeah, we're only on medium, which is very, very low. Normally, we play on much, much higher than that. Um, medium healed, got epic, and we're still being just, just trashed. Just absolutely trashed. Get those meals out of there. Oh, Lord, the fridge is broken down. How long has that been like that? Uh, how long have they got until they rot? Ah, get out of here. Um, what are we looking at? We're looking at 3.1 days. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's, there's nothing to worry about for the time being, but obviously we do want to haul those over. Just in case anything bad happens to Rick, I want to make sure... Oh, incapacitated refugee. I did want to save everyone, but I don't know that I can. Where is she? If she's, like, right next door on the main road or something... Oh, she's not too far. Um, we've also got a prisoner rescue quest as well. Two enemies. Oh, no. This is why we need to set up a, a nice environment to save people in, but this is... Uh, this is not practical. We've still got to move the prison over. We've still got to tidy the basement. We've still got to build... I feel like there's been no progress. We've gone backwards. We've got... What, what are you doing? <gasps> there's a hole in the wall. Oh, my God. There's a bloody great big hole in the wall. Um, also, why are you allowed out there? Oh, because I didn't actually restrict her area. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, I can't say I actually noticed that in hindsight. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just just, just haul that. Haul that. Take it to the base. What, why are you still leaving? Where are you going? Oh, because that is within area one, I guess, huh? Um... No, she's going... That's clearly not within Area 1. Oh, but that is? Why? Oh, probably because I let them pick up the power armor, right? Got it, got it, got it. Okay, we need to cancel that for the timing. Sorry, power armor. I will get you one day, but it is not this day. Right, we good. Right, she's fine. Okay, Rick is back. So we've got Rick and Bullock both working on the last little bit of the food here. I hope this toxic fallout doesn't last much longer because we are actually going to start starving to death soon if that's the case. Uh, using the sandstone toilet acceptable. Sorry, can we move this club out of the way of the fucking door? Um, it's still unbelievable to me that there isn't a way to stop them just dropping shit in front. The amount of prison breaks we've had and the amount of things like, I don't know, savage muffalo attacks because the doors have just been left open, propped open by something like a club, for example. Real pain in the ass. Exhaustion, Rick. Well, maybe if you didn't spend all night running around, this wouldn't be a problem. How's Bullock doing in terms of her damage? Um, she's got a adrenaline crash right now. Coupled with the toxic build, it means her consciousness has been hit on the head quite badly. Um, that and she's literally been hit on the head quite badly by the muffalo as well. Wow. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? This ragey group of zombies have... have... Oh, they're going after the gigantelopes? No, they've just decided to go and stand over here. This is interesting. I never really observed kind of what these zombies get up to in their spare time. They get like heightened senses, essentially, which means they can, uh, they're, they're a bit more, yeah, they're, they're going after the gigantic that just spawned in, because I guess uh, there's probably quite a few animals on the map right now because of the, the whole toxic fallout thing. That's cool. No. 
<laughs> Prison break. Hooray, everybody. Okay, fine. Um, you know what we do have? We have tasers right now, so we should be able to knock these guys down without uh, without killing them dead. Go grab this one. Uh, Bullock, you grab... What else have we got that's non-lethal? Um, it's, it's kind of a bad situation when your most lethal... Non-lethal weapon, I should say, is a fucking axe. Um, you could be in some serious... What about the club? Club will only do damage. It won't, it won't really... Oh, God, okay. So they're just kicking around our base. Grip in charge shotgun. Don't you dare do that. Oh, God. Rick. Rick, why did you bath with your charged shotgun, you strange man? Okay. Um, this is bad. The prisoners are heavily, heavily armed. Rick. Rick. Rick, get close. I didn't realize that the fucking range on this taser is pathetic. Go. No, 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 no. Bullock, 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 bullock. Big bullock. Please help me out here. I don't care what you get. Grab whatever weapon you can find. Concentrate charge. I'll take it. No way are we gonna... Bleed now one hour. No, I refuse. I refuse. This is illegal. This is very illegal. Why did he bath with his shotgun? Now they've got a taser as well. I'm very angry. I'm very angry. Okay. What the fuck are they doing? They're trying to escape? That they're actually escaping through the bedroom. You realize you can open doors, right? That's the thing. That's what doors are here for. Also, kill them all. Kill kill them all. I'm sick of being the nice guy. Back off, back off, back off. Actually gun them all down though. Thank you. Keep gunning. Run and gun. Re kill them all. I don't care about these guys anymore. You think you can take out Rick? Nobody takes out Rick. Please go and go and stabilize him. Stabilize him. Six hours. No, 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 no. Take him. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, we... Oh, come on. Take him down. Rick. Put him down in 0 0.7 hours. We need to, we need to just, we need to start rescuing him. We need to start rescuing him. This is not good. Um, okay, sleeping spot. Sleeping spot. Boom. Let's go medical. Let's go rescue Rick. Let's start tending to Rick right now. Can't because she's not a doctor. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. Tend to Rick. We've got medicine right there. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. 0 0.6 hours. Oh, no. Jimenez has died. Caused blood loss. You know what? Fuck him. On a... Come on, please, 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 please. 0 0.4 hours. Come on. 0 0.3. This is going to be fucking close. 8, 7, 6. No! You... <laughs> Fucker. Right, okay, okay, okay. We we can't. We can't save him. We can Kill him. Kill him. Kill him dead. Kill them all. Kill them all, Bullock. Kill them all. You see, you, you turn up. You raid my base. You kill Rick. You kill Rick Crimes. You die. Oh, you absolutely... Finish her off. No, oh, she's dead. Good. Fucking don't care. Oh, no, she's not dead. Kill her. Melee six skill required. Fine. You know what? Beat her to death. Kick her head in. I don't care. And then there was one. And then there was one. I don't know. I... I'm going to savor this. Every, every moment. Every kick. Every kick gave me incredible strength. And then there was one. Stand down, Bullock. Stand down. Ah, what a peaceful day. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow... <laughs> ah, ah, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Let's give a shout out to the patrons who've made this aneurysm of the day possible in the first place. Big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Matt Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Baniel, Sudini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nabuskus911, Nathan Flores, Necrophilum, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Shayok Sinclair, The Forsaken One, Teabag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backus, William Green, and Zazzy. 7011. Thank you for your support, these hinty lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making YouTube possible. And thank you for increasing my blood pressure tenfold today. Much appreciated. And a thank you as well to Asro, Adam Person, Aiden W, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Espers Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Easy to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gompo, Gray, Haji Demar, Henrik Stenskard, Icarus, I See the Grey, Irish, Israel, Isaac Burroughs, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Laurent Philippe, Roy Lemaire, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Pan Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Smirt One, Soy Critique, Super Nanny 089, Talar, Volonkari, 
Varagon, Fudu Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Will Sinatef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico. Thank you. Thank you for making this series possible. Boy, oh boy, what a fun time we're all having, huh? What a fun time.